Gary, an extraordinary game. Not quite sure where to start. What's your reaction at the final whistle? Uh, disappointment. Um, having a, a two-nil lead to then uh, to draw at the end is a, a very disappointing result for us. Two superb goals for Barrow, but is it that that cliche of game management where against nine men we should be seeing it out? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Should have dealt with the first goal better and should have dealt with the second goal better uh, leading up to the free kick. Fantastic strike, can't take away uh, the quality of the goal, but we, we should have dealt with both goals uh, better than what we did today. Two points dropped, but before that, before that moment there was so much to be pleased with, particularly in the first half. A couple of people have already said it was the best that we played, the best 45 minutes from the shots this season. Would you agree? The game lasts for 96. Second half, we were very, very poor, and it's, uh, it tells you the scoreline 2-2. Two, two. Um, first half, good. Second half, very disappointing. To score in 49 seconds, as I think Matt, Matt McClure did, it was an excellent start from the shots. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was a good start. That's what we wanted. Um, put them on the back foot. But, you know, an early goal was great, but you have to then make sure you see a game out. And that's the, that's the bitter disappointment um, that we have to accept and deal with. Um, and at this moment in time, directly after a game, I'm not best pleased as you can imagine. Uh, and I know the players ain't, but we have to do miles better during the second half. We were poor second half. The message from you at half time, I presume, would have been whatever it was to not let up the intensity, to, to not allow Barrow back in the game. Well, the first what couple of minutes, they've got in a couple of times with balls played over the top. Uh, obviously, our lads know that. Uh, it gave them um, not hope, but it gave them a little bit of momentum, a bit of positive play early part. And early part of the second half, you want to keep it very quiet. Um, but let's be honest, second half we should have managed the game better. Um, they go down to nine men, we should see the game out, but uh, we didn't, unfortunately. What do you think was lacking in the second half? What I think was lacking, um, we didn't pass the ball well enough, that's for sure, and that's one of our strengths. Um, I suppose we allowed pressure to come on us, and then, um, you know, the game towards the end was, uh, as you rightly say, the first question you asked me is difficult to explain with what was going on, but. You still have to manage the game and see it through. That's it. What, whatever, whatever is going on in the game, you've got to keep a clear head and and not let the passion of the of the occasion get the better of you. You've got to have that. There was no red mist from the shots players, but you've got to keep clear heads and clear minds. Be marks. focused. You've got to see it through. You've got to be clear. You've got to be calm. You can be angry after the game if you want to be, um, but we're angry for all the wrong reasons today because we should be going home with three points and manage the game better. If we'd have managed the game better, we'd have gone home with three points. And clearly disappointment, everybody's feeling it now, but does that does that cloud, does that detract from the quality of the performance at times, particularly in the first half? As yeah, the first half we were very good. Um, we looked a very good side. But as I said already in, the, in this interview, if you have to play for 96 minutes, teams are going to have you know, position themselves, they're going to put you on the back foot. You have to be able to manage that and we could have, we should have dealt with the two goals miles better than what we did and that's the reason why we've only got a draw today. But it is a draw against a team that, like the Shots, are chasing for the playoffs. When we, when we think about it in the cold light of day, Monday, Tuesday morning, will it feel like we at least haven't lost ground on one of our nearest challenges? You can ask me the same questions next Friday if you want to. I will feel exactly the same way as I do now. Um, we quite clearly dropped uh, points today and I'm not best pleased, let's put it like that. Absolutely, thank you very much Gary. Thank you.